Hello, hello, and welcome today. Sorry, I'm just adjusting my camera just a little bit. It looked like I was a little bit crooked, but um, I think it's all good. I'm checking to make sure. Yes, yay, we're going live on Facebook and everything looks good. I'm just going to adjust it just a little bit. Okay, hello. I'm Debbie Danford from Craftier Creations. Um, dot blogspot.com or on Facebook and YouTube. It's Crafty Your Creations with Debbie. So today I've been a little behind after coming back from on stage. So I think I'm finally getting caught up on stuff. So I didn't do a live the last couple weeks. I think it's, it seems like it's been, but maybe it's only been a week. Anyway, today I wanted to come to you um, with really actually something very simple, but just taking a six by six piece of DSP and turning it into four beautiful cards here. So I'm using the Fresh as a Daisy, which is going to be going away pretty soon out of our um, annual catalog because we have a new one coming out. And if you don't have a demo and you're going to be needing one of these beautiful new catalogs, please contact me and let me know and I will make sure you get one shipped out to you. But new and exciting stuff coming in this new catalog and no all those little stickies were not items that i want necessarily they were markers for when i walked it through with my team um things i wanted to make sure i didn't miss so um yeah that wasn't necessarily all my wish list stuff so we're going to go ahead and get started here and what we're going to do is i took um this piece here, which is the back of the cello blue, which this is very pretty too. And I have quite a bit of this, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> this DSP left over. So I've been trying to use it. I'm actually going to be using it in a class tomorrow night at a friend's house. So um, I decided to pull in this fresh as a daisy, or sorry, it's fresh as a daisy DSP. And then it's the cheerful daisies stamp set and dies that kind of all went together and um, was very popular when it first came out. But unfortunately, I think the stamp set might be carrying over. Now I can't even remember. But the paper definitely is not this time. Okay, so we have a six by six piece right here that I have already cut down. And what we're first going to do is just cut it into three by three for all four of them and then we're going to do a few different things after we get to that so for one of them and i'm going to show you all four so for one of them i did the simple three by three then i layered it up on a three and a quarter by three excuse me three and a quarter by three and a quarter did some embossing with the um distress tile 3d embossing folder you know stamped our phrase here die cut one of the daisies and we've got a cute little card this one is a cute layout that I just did last weekend when I did my celebration celebration class. We're going to just cut this piece at an angle and layer that one up. Here we just cut these one inch squares and we did one inch strips. So we have lots of options how to make these like you could do them all like this if you like that layout better or like this or any of them. You know, and depending on the paper, sometimes this simple little layout can is is beautiful. So one of them we're going to keep just like this. We're going to keep that one like that because I'm going to go ahead and do my cutting right now. This one we're going to go ahead and cut from corner to corner just like this. Okay, so we have these two pieces. And then I'm going to take a three and a quarter by three and a quarter inch piece of crushed curry that I already have here. I'm going to double check, but I'm 99.9%, .9%, three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cut that one from corner to corner. When you've got sharp corners on the edge here, I put my cutting blade in the center so that you don't get any, um, like a little bit of tearing maybe on the corner when it goes to cut it. So I always start in the middle with that. Okay, so there's going to be one card. We're going to slide those there. Okay, this one we're going to cut in one inch strips. So I'm going to just go to... There's one inch there, and we're going to go to one inch here, and then we've got these three strips that are going to go just like this, okay? There's going to be one, and this one we're going to cut, so this is three, we're going to cut it in half and in half, so we're going to have four little squares, so we're going to go in half this way, 
and then we're going to go in half this way. Like I said, easy peasy. And if you don't want to keep them together when you cut the two, you don't have to. I'm going to go ahead and pull them apart. It was a little bit easier for me to do it just like this. Okay. And there we've got these four squares. Now, if you want to keep your pattern together, you certainly can. Like we know those two went together there. And now this one... I don't know, actually. Isn't that weird how all of a sudden now I can't even tell how those went together. I know those two went together right there, but... Wow. Maybe that went like that. I don't think so, though. Oh, there we go. Well, I don't think that's exactly it, but we're going to make that work. But we'll worry about that when we get to that point. Okay. So for that, for all that cutting, I think we're done with all of those. So we're going to go ahead and put the trimmer away. And let's go ahead. We're going to start with this one right here. We're going to do this one. I really like this layout. And instead of putting the million thanks in there, I am going to use the speedy recovery from the sweetly scripted and this is an online exclusive. I think right now it is unavailable, but I think it comes back in again. I want to say next week sometime, but I will double check on that. So I'm going to kind of slide all my other pieces out of the way here. And the reason I'm going to do the speedy recovery is because one of my teammates just had surgery yesterday on her foot. So I have my... DSP pieces cut and then my three and a quarter by three and a quarter crushed curry and what we're going to do is just layer these on top just like this okay and I'm going to use the green multi-purpose mono glue because we're getting into some you know um, corners right here that we want to make sure we get adhesive on so let's just go ahead and use that but you can use whatever your favorite adhesive is Okay, there's that one. And then we'll go ahead and do this one. Goes right here, just like that. Now, these four little layouts, like I said, are very simple, but it's a great way to use up some of your DSP. And you could make four cards that, you know, kind of all coordinate. You can wrap them up with some ribbon and, you know, give them to a friend. It's a nice little gift. So these are going to go on here just like this. But before I put them down, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to bring in my Garden Green ink pad. And we're going to go ahead and ink up the Speedy Recovery. And I'm going to stamp it right there in that spot. So let's go ahead and ink this up. And I don't want to glue it down yet, just in case I make a mistake, I can flip it. Woohoo! Perfect! Now I have a little bit of ink just right here that I'm going to wipe off really quick so that we don't get that everywhere. Slide that out of the way. All right, now I can go ahead and attach these. Now, when I did it the first time, I put them down flat. You could pop them up with uh, dimensionals if you wanted to. I think I'm going to go ahead and leave this flat because I popped up this layer with dimensionals. All right, so let's go ahead and attach this to this. And I'm just lining it up into that corner and just making sure I'm leaving the same gap going all the way around. Same thing here. And we'll attach this one right here. All right. 
I have already pre-embossed this piece for this one. Some of them we will, we will be embossing because we're going to stamp our phrase on them. But this one I already did pre-emboss. And we're going to pop this one on top of here with dimensionals. I'm going to go ahead and bring in my card base because what I'm going to do first is I'm going to lay this down here. And I'm going to use the glue for this also only because this is a 3D embossing folder and it's got a lot of nooks and crannies. So sometimes using glue is a little bit easier to get this to stick um, versus an adhesive and another a different, you know, our like stamp and seal plus or or whatever is your form of, of adhesive you might use, but I like to use the stamp and seal plus. Okay, so there's that part. Let me bring in my dimensionals here. And it looks like I'm almost done with another sheet. As I've said, I love dimensionals. I love to pop cards up. I just think it gives it some really easy dimension for you without doing a whole lot of work. And we're going to cut some of these apart. And I don't like to have the layers sag so I kind of tend to put a little bit more than maybe most people would so our let if you follow my uh, if you're on my email list and you follow my um, posts an email went out today with the last chance list or the retiring product whatever you want to call it they call it the last chance list but definitely it's just retiring product so that went out today the only thing i always recommend for everybody is to make sure that you if you want any of the in colors that are going away which is the 2022 to 2024 in colors um get them before the list goes the discounted prices come out because a lot of people tend to snap up the retiring colors and um yeah they just snap them up so especially like if you have the inks but didn't buy the refills you want to make sure you get those refills so that you have those and if you don't know what the retiring colors are here i'll pull them out and show you really quick so that's the orchid oasis Parakeet Parties, Starry Sky, Sweet Sorbet, and Tahitian Tide. And I have to say, out of all five of these, I'm going to miss the Tahitian Tide and Parakeet Party. They, they were two of my favorites. And the Sweet Sorbet, I kind of was liking just a little bit there, too, for a while. I used it quite a bit. All right, let's just go ahead and add a... Now, these are the iridescent rhinestones that I pulled in. So let's just add a couple of these... Actually, I think I'm just going to add one right there. And I'm going to call that good. And then I have some extra strips over here for the inside of our card that I've already cut. And we're going to just add one of these right here on the inside to bling it up a little bit. And you, if you have lots of this paper, you could always decorate your envelope with the DSP also. I didn't grab any envelopes, so I didn't think about it at the time. And then let's just go ahead and add this to the inside, and then we will be done with the first card. I'm hoping to keep this not too long today. Um, I always say that, and then I tend to probably talk too much. I don't know. Okay, first card. What do you think? Isn't that just a quick, easy, simple card? Now, this one, I put some bling in some other places, and of course, you easily could. Um, but yes, that is going to get sent out to one of my teammates. So there's our first card. So let's go ahead and do this one next. So... This layer here of the crushed curry, I actually cut it a little bit bigger. I wanted a little bit more space in between um, these one inch squares. Now let's see if we can decide how we want this to go on here since Debbie didn't keep track of how she cut it. Just, uh, yeah, isn't that funny how I don't know. Oh, I bet this one might go over here. 
maybe and maybe we're not going to care okay we are not going to make a big deal about it there we're going to put them on like that and again i'm going to use glue because it's going to make it simpler now when you're cutting yours next time maybe if you want to make sure your pattern all stays together keep track of those four little squares which two of them i did but i don't know why the other two and i'm sure somebody out there is watching saying no turn it this way no turn it that way i've done that when i've watched somebody's video and you know it's easy for us to see the mistake on when we're watching, but not when we're doing it. But anyway. We're going to make it work just like this. And nobody's going to know any different anyway. And they're going to love the card when they get it. Right? Okay. Oh, so back to the last chance list. Um, more info about that. Um, besides the in colors going away, you might notice that you'll see maybe bundles that have an asterisk by them, which means they're no longer going to be bundles in the new catalog, but they are still carrying over. So my suggestion for that is to get it while it's still a bundle, because then you save that 10% on it, because they might still be available, but will not be in the bundle format, which means you can still get the stamps and dies or stamps and punch, depending on what it is. And, um, but you'll pay 10% more. So keep that in mind. This is from the thanks from the artistically inked stamp set. So I'm going to give that like a second here, kind of blow on it. <laughs> and then we're going to emboss it. So I'm going to bring in my embossing machine here. Let's bring this up here and we're going to emboss this with the 3D embossing folder. And this is the distressed embossing folder. So we have plate number one. We have our embossing folder. And I want to make sure I put the Stampin' Up! emblem up. I know you can't see everything here. Let me slide that up a little bit. Um, this way, this will be embossed on the front instead of debossed. If the Stampin' Up! emblem is on the front, we're going to put that in like that. And then put plate number four on here. And we are going to run this through. Just like that. Pull it back out. Oh, one of my little feet came off. Oh, well, I'll have to fix that later. And here we go. So now we have a beautiful embossed piece. And all we're going to do is pop this up on dimensionals. Let's bring in our card base really quick. If I'm popping up on dimensionals, I like to put my layers down first and then do that part last. So again, we're going to use our multi-purpose mono green glue whatever you call it or whatever glue is your favorite i have just found that using the adhesive um, tape runners when it's a um, a 3d folder sometimes doesn't quite hold as nice so i like to do the glue now i use the stamp and seal plus which probably would work fine but i use the glue okay Let's put some dimensionals down. Let's cut some more. Well, hopefully, because once again, I always forget to turn my phone on silent when I'm doing a Facebook Live. When I'm doing a video, it doesn't ring. That's why I think I forget about it. And inevitably, my husband always seems to call when I'm doing a Facebook Live. Go figure. All right, so there's that. And let's just pop these off. We're going to pop it up on the front. And then we're going to make a little bow with some linen thread. Now, I like the linen thread. And if you're in my monthly club, you'll you'll know that part because I use it quite a bit, but it tends to go with a lot of different DSPs, stamp sets, you know, it's just a good accent sometimes. So we're just popping that up and it's relatively inexpensive. 
Um, I just did a double bow, so let's just go ahead and I'm going to cut two of these. And I don't usually do bows. And depending on how you tie your bows, this is how I do mine. And I hopefully didn't cut it too short. And I might have. I just do the two little bunny ears and then pull them around. And then I'm going to pull these a little bit like this to make these. And there we go. And I'm going to trim these a little bit like that. And we're just going to put a couple little glue dots here. And yes, the glue dots are a little big, and I just curl them up underneath, and you can't see them anyway. And we're just going to put that on right there, just like that. And then we'll bring in a little bit of blingity bling, the iridescent rhinestones. And I think this time I'm going to use the medium size, since we popped that up a little bit, we can go a little bit bigger there. There we go. I'm just going to put one on there too since we have the little bow on there. And then we're going to flip this over. And again, I have some strips over here that we're going to add another strip to this one. Because I had already pre-cut. Now your strips can be as wide or as you know thin as you want. Um, I don't usually go past a half an inch wide because I don't like them when they get thicker. But, you know, everybody each to their own on how you want to do the inside. And of course, you could take the daisy stamp set and you could stamp one of the daisies in the corner if you wanted to decorate that way too. There's no right or wrong. It just don't don't for let's not have a naked inside of the card. Same with the outside. If you have plenty of DSP, go ahead and decorate your envelope or again, stamp with the daisy set or whatever set you might be using if you're not using the daisies. Okay. There's project number two. I like it. Okay, now let's go ahead and do the strips here. And these I did keep in order. Now I kind of hesitated on this, on making this a three by three, so I had a little bit more um, space to work with, but I didn't cut it that way. So we're gonna just make this one work just like we did before. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and glue these down. Again, I'm using the multi-purpose glue. And this is why I was thinking I should have maybe cut this a little bit bigger so that I had, um, I'm gonna do the two outside ones and then add the Oh, I have an idea. Okay, I know how I'm going to fix my little gap problem. Okay, I'm going to put the two outside ones down. And I'm trying to keep my distance around in the top and bottom the same. And we're going to pop this one up. Why didn't I think of that? Because it just came to me right now. See, switching it up a little bit here. And let's cut a couple little strips. Right there. Like I cut these down to whatever size you need for whatever you're making, but it's always nice. These are the minis that I'm using up here. So um, you always use up every little bit of the dimensionals. Don't throw any of it away because it's all usable. Okay, so now we're going to pop this little piece up right here. And I know on the camera it's going to be hard for you to even be able to tell, but we did pop that up. And I like it. It gave it a little bit of dimension there. All right. Then, whoops, not that, Debbie. 
we're going to bring in our white piece and this one I guess I didn't bring in the card I did add a little one of the little flowers I had die cut one of the little daisies and I actually put it on upside down I do it every time I always I don't know why I put those on upside down I think we're going to end up put, putting this one right here in the middle we'll see okay I stamped the happy birthday so let me switch this let me clean this um, speedy recovery and then we will um, I think I'm gonna do the million thanks though because I always need thank you cards so let's put this one back speedy recovery I'm not sure where it goes here there we go and let's do yeah that's the million thanks so I'm gonna bring in the million thanks I love this set because I love that they're long and skinny and can go across like that I think it's an awesome way to use these phrases um, so like I said if you don't have this one online exclusive and they will be back in stock again I think I swear I think it's next week Okay, and I'm going to line this up so it's straight here. Ooh, and the million thanks just barely fits going this direction. Didn't think about that. But I like it. Just swipe that up a little bit. And then we're going to emboss this again. So let's bring in handy dandy machine. We want the base plate down. We want the Stampin' Up emblem up so that we're embossing on the top and not debossing. I'm going to put the embossing folder in, plate number four on top. running that through that out of our way and there we go and it looks like I have a little bit of residual from um, ink on there but nobody's really gonna see it okay then we're gonna pop this up right here let's bring in our card base we're gonna go ahead and attach this first Again, the multi-purpose glue is what I'm using. Okay, this goes down here, and then we're going to go ahead and add some dimensionals, and we're going to pop this part up too. these apart and if you have any questions on the um, retiring list you know don't hesitate to contact me because there's two of them one for the mini catalog and one for the annual catalog and some things are carrying over into the new annual catalog and some things are moving to the um, online exclusive area so if you have questions about if you can't find something or aren't sure you know don't hesitate to ask and new catalogs will be shipping out mid-april if you're in my monthly club you'll get yours in your monthly club box for april and if you're not in my monthly club and you're interested in that, don't hesitate to ask. And I will post the link down below this video, too, of, of all the info on my monthly club. It's $39.50 a month. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. You get the supplies to make um, five projects, two of each. You get $15 to $20 in product each month. And on your sixth consecutive month, you will receive $25 in product in your box okay we're just gonna glue this little guy right on top and this time I won't put it on upside down and 
and I originally had popped him up, but I think, actually, I think I'm going to just put glue dots. That'll be a little bit of a pop up, but not, not too much. Since we already popped up that center piece and the piece behind it, I'm just going to put this right here like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and do like a little bit of a bow, a giant bow here. I wrap it around three or four times around my fingers. And this might be too big. I might have to redo it. I do a little twist like this. And then I wrap it around and tie it. I just want to see, make sure it's not too big. Yeah, I think that'll work. And we're going to cut this and then I just tie a knot. Just an easy way to make a bow. Stick that through and then pull it tight. I'm sure people, I'm sure there's a hundred million different ways you can make a bow, but that's how I do mine. And then you can adjust your little loops and cut your little tail. I don't know where the other one even went. Oh, there it is. Okay. And again, I'm going to use glue dots to attach this to the front. And I'm going to put it kind of right there. What? I love it. I like how we popped that part up. I think that was a great addition to that. So let's go ahead and add a couple of little blingity blings. And let's put one down here. Like that. And then the inside, let's add our little strip. If I can pick it up over here. Let's get this one on. And then we only have one left. And there's that one. And attach that just like that on the inside. And then we fold this over and we are good to go here. I'm going to do a little bit of burnishing on this one. And there we go. So this is the difference between the two. Oh, I forgot. I know what I forgot. Wink Estella. So I forgot to paint this little guy with Wink Estella. Luckily, we can easily do that afterwards. Okay. And it's probably, again, hard to see on the camera. But I'll show you. Close. Hopefully you can see that. A little bit of shimmer there. Okay, there we go. There's that one. Now, last but not least, of course, we are going to stamp the Just a Note and I kind of want it to come over here because we're going to put that um, other flower. Let me bring this in so you can see it. The big daisy on there. So let's ink that up. There's that stamped. And when I give that just a little minute to dry. Okay, I had this laid out here. So I kind of want to make sure I'm keeping track so that we're not having to move this around so much. That's the hardest part is trying to line these back up. So let me try and do that now. There we go. So it's kind of going to go like that. So I'm going to flip it like this and we're going to add some glue and we might have to move it around just a little bit, but it's always that first time that you're trying to line it up is the hardest. Yay! Did it right the first time. 
And then we're going to go ahead and paint this with Winca Stella right now before we put it on. That's giving that other, our phrase a little bit of time to dry so we don't have any more residual coming off on our embossing folder. Okay, there's that. Now, just so you know, when you when you um, start a new Wink of Stella, which right now they're still unavailable, they should be back in hopefully soon. I've got stickies on my finger. Um, there's always a little black circle. You, you unscrew this and then you take that off when you start. And when you prime it, you push these two sides right here. Always prime off to the side on something else and you'll see it start to come down here. Because if you prime it on your project and then it starts to gets a blop on it right away and, and puts a whole bunch out, you'll not be happy with the result of what happens there. So keep that in mind when you do Prima Wink of Stella. Okay, let's bring in the embossing machine again. Let's put this here. We have plate one. We have the Stampin' Up! image up. And then we're going to put this here and run it through. And you can back it through again if you want a really deeper impression, which sometimes I do depending on what um, I'm embossing. And there we go. Lovely. It's always beautiful when you can stamp an image like that and then emboss it. It just changed the whole effect without really doing a whole lot there. Now, of course, this one's the easy peasy one. We're just going to glue this down. And if you wanted, you could cut this one in the squares or some strips or the diagonal. You don't have to do it this one like this. But I was just trying to show how you could take one six by six piece and we made four cards. And look how easy these cards went together with not a whole lot of, you know, effort to it as far as making four cards like that. So it's just another way to use six by six paper. And I have to say, I love our DSP. And wait till you see some of the new DSPs coming out in the new catalog. It's going to be awesome. And pretty soon you'll be seeing my ad come out. If you live locally, I will be doing a catalog kickoff party on May 18th. So mark your calendar for that. You don't want to miss it because you'll get to see lots of new product, whatever I have purchased. And um, we'll be playing with one of the new suites and making six to eight projects with that. There'll be prizes. So it's always a lot of fun to come to the catalog kickoff party. Now that one is not wanting to pull up. There it goes. It was kind of sticking there for a minute. All right. So we are on our last one. Let's see. How am I doing? Oh, not doing too bad. Time-wise. All right. And let's put one more over there on the other side. So I will be posting a form in case you need a new catalog. If you're, if, if you've ordered from me in the past six months, or if you're in my monthly club, you will automatically be getting one. Um, and if you haven't and you're looking for a demonstrator because you don't have one, I will have a form you can fill out so I can send you a catalog because I would love to send you a catalog. I want you to see all the new wonderful goodies we've got coming out. So what I did is put a little bit of adhesive in one corner and then we're going to take and put a few little dimensionals over here on the other end to pop it up since the this is popped up right here it always takes a little bit longer when you're cutting your little strips off the edges we're not just easily popping them up but you don't want to waste these so 
one there. And then I think this will probably be good. I'll just cut a strip here. Put that one there. Okay. Those little white things from the dimensionals end up everywhere. Beautiful. Now let's add a little bit of blingity bling. And I'm going to go with the medium ones again. I'm going to put one there. And a couple just right there. And there's our last. Oh, let's do the inside. Inside, inside, inside. And let's see. This time I have... Actually, I have two strips left here because it was a little wide, so I cut it, and this time I'm going to do it like this. We're going to go ahead and add two, two little strips. And I like to leave a little bit of, uh, a little bit of the, the white card base showing, but you certainly don't have, have to. That's just me. I just think it gives it a little bit of a little bit more dimension, but you can always put it up against. And now there. See? Isn't that pretty? No naked insides, no naked envelopes. Okay. Burnish that. There we go. There's one of them. I'm going to bring them all back in and show you really quick. Here's this one. Here's the thanks. And here's this one. I hope you enjoyed the projects we made today. And of course, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me and ask. And I will see you again next week. Bye, guys.